fear. You ought to look at a neighbor and say, he'll bless you. He'll bless you. Today, today Jesus is still available to have a space in your life. The book of Revelation said, Lo, I stand at the door and I knock. I wonder this morning, will you let him in? Well. I wonder this morning, will you take a little time out of your busy day to make room for him? Will you take some time to pray? Will you take just a little bit of time to read your Bible? Take a little time to maybe call a brother or a friend? Well. Just to see how they're doing. All right. Just to encourage them in the Lord. They're going through stuff too. I wonder when you take out a little bit of time to maybe go and offer yourself, or maybe once a month, go go by a nursing home, just go talk to some people. Well, they've been left there. I wonder when you take some time to maybe if you see somebody riding down the road, they didn't ask you to change, but just pull over and just give them a dollar if they look like they need it. I wonder when you take some time to make room for Jesus in your life. Because if you make room for him, He'll make room for you. You might pull over and bless somebody that 20 years from now, they'll turn around and bless you. Well. You never know who you're helping today that could bless you tomorrow. Who will be Jesus to them? Who will be the one to show them the way? You'll be the only Bible somebody ever reads. You'll be, your words will probably be the only testimony or sermon they ever hear. Your encounter with them will probably be the only encounter with Jesus they'll ever have. And they wouldn't have it. Not with you if you don't make room for Jesus. And then somebody else will obey Jesus and make room for him and do what you were supposed to do and they'll be the one to get what you were supposed to be blessed with. Well, This morning is an opportunity. Jesus is knocking at the door this morning and he wonders, I, I need you to make room for me. I need you to make room for me. This morning, stand to your feet. We're all just going to pray real quickly. God will bless our uh, our spirits, I, I hope this was a word that will help you out this week. Yes. Just make sure that whatever you're doing, even in Christmas, don't, 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 don't go to tearing up the paper first. You ought to thank God that you even got a gift. And somebody gave you one. Well. It's Jesus' birthday. You ought to wake up on Tuesday and say, you know what, God, I just, I, I, happy birthday to you. Well. Thank you for sending your son to die on the cross for me. Yes, sir. Make room for him, and he'll bless you in ways that you have no idea. Amen? Amen. Father God, we thank you this morning for your word. We thank you just for reminding us, God, that, that we need to make room for you in our lives. And whatever we're doing and whatever we're planning, uh, you told us in your word to, uh, to trust in you with all of our heart and lean not into our own understanding. And in all our ways, we should acknowledge you and you will direct our path. God, help us to uh, stand firm in that word in this Christmas season. Bless us in a mighty way today as we go forward. Let everyone enjoy the rest of their day. Let them be blessed and safe. We thank you for all that you've done and all you're going to do. In Jesus' name, say amen. amen. Somebody put those hands together and bless the Lord this morning. Hallelujah.